Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Haya Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. And Jesus is truly the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say with shouts of hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, friends, today is September the 9th in the year of our Lord, 2017. And this is one a day for the soul. Now, we're going to talk about what may appear to be a controversial subject, but by the time of our discussion, I think that you may understand what it is that I'm explaining. Now, in John chapter 14 and verse 13, it says, Whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Now, when we pray as Christians, we always end our prayer in the name of Jesus. And this passage and others like it is where that comes from. But that's not precisely what Jesus means when he says, pray in my name. Because if you stop and think about it, what we're doing is we're placing a magic formula on prayer. If we pray in the name of Jesus, ending our prayers in his name, somehow it means that he's going to answer. Well, friends, that's a magic formula. And of course, we know that God does not work that way. So let's look a little bit more closely and let's see what it means to pray in the name of Jesus. Now, first off, we see... Jesus says, whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. So it's important to ask it in his name. But then he says that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So the purpose of praying in the name of Jesus is so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Well, how was the Father glorified in the Son? By his death. Through the death of Jesus and the penalty that he paid for the sins of man, the Father is glorified. Let's look a little bit closer at that thought. Turn with me, if you will, to 1 Timothy, and let's look at chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, There is one God and one mediator between God and men, and that mediator is the man Christ Jesus. Now, Jesus became a mediator between man and God because men had sinned. God is holy, and there had to be someone that brought man back into fellowship with God or into the holiness of God. Ephesians chapter 2 may better clarify this. Let's look at beginning at verse 13, then we'll look at verse 16, and then we'll look at verse 18. It says, but now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were afar off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. It is because the blood of Jesus that we are acceptable to God. Look at verse 16, that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. We were enemies of God. But once we receive the blood of Jesus Christ, we become friends of God. We become his children. Why? Look at verse 18. For through him and the cross, the suffering that he endured on our behalf, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now, if you would, turn to Hebrews chapter 4, and let's begin at verse 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, the Lord Jesus, that is passed into the heavens. See, friends, he didn't stay dead on the cross. He resurrected, hallelujah. And he's passed back into the heavens. He's at the right hand of the Father. He is Jesus, the Son of the living God. Because of this, let us hold fast, firm, our profession of faith. For we do not have a high priest which cannot be touched, with the feeling of our infirmities. He suffered. He endured pain and misery. But in all points he has been tempted like as we are, yet without sin. 
Therefore, let us come boldly unto the throne of grace in prayer, in fellowship with God, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So let me be very careful and let me be very clear when I tell you that praying in Jesus' name is not ending our prayer in the name of Jesus, but praying and talking to the Father, fellowshipping with the Father is done because of the price that Jesus paid on our behalf. Meaning, when we pray, we are to have in mind, we are to be connected in spirit to the work that Jesus did, knowing that we can come to the Father, we can come before the throne of grace because of what Jesus did for us. And that, friends, is what it means to pray in the name of Jesus. We only have fellowship with the Father because of what Jesus did for us. We stand in sin. God is holy, and Jesus paid the price for sin. And that, friends, is how we pray in the name of Jesus. It's not a matter of words that we say, but a spiritual connection that we have to the Father going through Jesus because of what Jesus did for us. Understanding that Jesus is the bridge between man and God. And it's only through Jesus that we have fellowship with the Father. And so if you have been like many who have ended your prayer in Jesus' name, there's certainly nothing wrong with that. But that's not what Jesus meant when he said, ask in my name. He's talking about count on what I did because in what I did, all the blessings of God the Father flow. And you now become a recipient to those blessings because of the price that I paid for you. I redeemed you back in to fellowship with God. I paid your price. I paid your penalty. And because of that, now you come through what I did into the presence of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And friends, the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation that we will one day see the Lamb as he was slain. We will not see him without scar. We will not see him without bruising. We will not see him without blemish, but we will see him exactly as he came off of the cross. And that will be a reminder throughout eternity of the love that he had for us. We don't fully understand it now, friends. We may not never fully understand the love that he offers unto us, but all oh, friend. Each and every day as we serve him, he opens our eyes and bestows a little bit more understanding of such love and what debt we owe unto him. And I pray today that you will live your life with him in mind and the price that he paid for you for such a great price it was. Well, friends, I love you. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.